Displaced people in Afghanistan escape war in their villages but sadly they being always caught by poverty. Despite this difficult time that need too many skills, resources and efforts to accomplish. These children, still smile because they were born into this difficult time and they're still responding to the challenges with smile. In the past four decades war and violence brought serious obstructions to its social, cultural, economic and political development. To reduce poverty effectively we provide vocational education for widows and orphan families. The implementation of these skills training project will have significant effect on the communities and they will gain social and economic development. It will also help the stability, sustainability, housing and development in Afghanistan, through vocational education to the orphans, families and vulnerable people we reduce the poverty and hunger. Afghanistan, is a war-torn country, Afghan children are subjected to violence and extreme poverty on a daily basis. They are, surrounded, in a critical situation. Child mortality, malnutrition, forced marriages and abuses are the main problems children are facing in everyday life. The child mortality rate is particularly high in Afghanistan. According to international records, life expectancy at birth is considered to be the lowest. Statistics show that 35% of newborns are underweight. Even today, 87% of deliveries take place in the pregnant mother's home and usually with no proper medical assistance. This is so because in the highly male-controlled Afghan society women do not often get permission to leave their home, even to go to the hospital. Therefore, one woman out of eight dies during delivery. A very limited number of hospitals exist in Afghanistan. Sometimes, one would have to travel across hundreds of kilometers to reach one of these hospitals. The medical officers lack proper training and appropriate equipment. Approximately 70% of the population does not have access to drinking water, which in turn results in a lot of health problems, especially among younger children. Therefore, in the light of this deplorable situation a journalist Mr. Hanan Habibzai founded Helping Orphans, a registered UK, charity organisation, to alleviate the suffering of the orphans and vulnerable children in order to assist them in becoming productive members of the society. We can change their lives together through a humanitarian aid mission. Helping Orphans aims to provide diverse aid to Afghan families in Kabul and other government-controlled cities to maintain economic and social change. Today, continued economic development is constrained by the lack of economic freedoms. War and widespread poverty restrain the communities across Afghanistan, overwhelmingly. Economic liberalization requires extending sustainable economic growth and property rights to the poor, especially to land and business places. Poverty arises in both developing and developed countries while much more widespread in developing ones, both types of countries. Industrial countries are tackling poverty with improving the living conditions of people who are already poor. Poverty reduction occurs largely as a result of overall economic growth. Poverty has been historically accepted in some parts of the world as inevitable as non-industrialized, economies produced very little, while populations grew almost as fast, making wealth scarce. In poor countries such Afghanistan continuing conflict created a huge economic downturn that jeopardized majority people live in the country. A human rights perspective explores poverty as a denial of a person's rights to a range of basic capabilities such as the capability to be adequately nourished, to live in good health, and to take part in decision-making processes and in the social and cultural life of the community. An individual is seen as living in poverty if basic rights, such as the rights to food, health and access to political participation, are not fulfilled. United Nations Human Rights 2012 underlines the multidimensional nature of poverty, describing it in terms of a range of interrelated and mutually reinforcing deprivations, and drawing attention to the stigma, discrimination, insecurity and social exclusion associated with poverty. The commitment to ensure respect for human rights will act as a force against all these forms of deprivation. Your generous handouts will enable us to reach them. Pictures and video and written report will be provided to the donors. Please consider saving a life now.